Hello everyone, welcome back to our XCOM 2 War of the Chosen casual walkthrough. Uh, it has been a minute since the last time I saw you. I did upload two videos uh, just recently last night, uh, but they were actually shot back in May when I look at the date on them. Um, I kind of, I didn't really do much uh, when I had some free time. I was playing a lot of Baldur's Gate 3 because Baldur's Gate 3 is amazing. I'm still playing another playthrough of BG3, uh, but I felt today that I needed to kill some aliens, uh, and this this is the best avenue for me to do it. So you may also notice, um, uh, oh yeah, the recap of last time, uh, we had to shoot aliens, and we did. It was great. So you may notice uh, this is a little bit of a different screen than the ones you're used to. Usually it's, uh, we've already been established on a mission before we pick up. Uh, this case, it is a potential for uh, for my money, what is the m one of the most enjoyable missions and arguably the most enjoyable missions in the game. Um, we'll see how this one shakes out. But uh, at some point during the game, you will be uh, pursued by a UFO. Uh, and at some point, they might try to actually shoot you down. Um, and then it gets to this screen where you have to basically do evasive maneuvers to try to avoid them. So let's just see how well we do. Oh, time for a cutscene movie. They be shooting at you. Your Shen seems completely surprised by alien technology. Not really sure what that's about. <laughs> Look at that, our engines are back on. And yet we fall fairly quickly through the sky as most of the people in the ship wet their pants. All right, we kind of see what's coming up here on our mission. Uh, it is going to be our job to destroy that thing. Otherwise, we're all going to die. Which is true. If you don't get this taken care of, your game is over. All right. So for those of you that have played the old school XCOM games way back in the day, the original series, um, the Avenger defense is the same thing as a base defense, um, which were absolutely my favorite missions um, back in the day. Um, you get a couple of them. It's always just awesome to do. But... This one is, is a little bit of a twist, but nonetheless. All right, so here's our thing. So on these, you can allow wounded soldiers, which is cool, um, because sometimes your wounded soldiers are better. Um, I will take them out. All right, so uh, you notice uh, Bones, Claire Gerard, is out on a covert action. She's going to be increasing her hacking skills. So she's out for this one, which sucks. But um, you notice Iskald uh, is shaken. Um, so her stats are going to suffer a little bit. However, the uh, best way to get out of Shaken is to successfully be on a mission. And a Shaken Iskald is better than pretty much all my other sharpshooters. So we're going to go ahead and bring her on this one. Uh, we got Snake, although he does not need that. Uh, we're not going to Skulljack anybody, but we are going to shred their insides with the Talon rounds. Uh, we need a specialist, um, and our only specialist, um, realistically, the, the highest quality one we have left is um, Vapor, a.k.a. Yarny. So we're going to get him over here. And then lastly, uh, I do like Outrider, but we are going to need some oomph on this one. Uh, we are going to need 
where is my oh let's see corporal we had Dakarai and Ava Jet. Let's go with let's go with Ava. Let's have two Dutch people here. That'd be cool. Alright. So we've got a fair number of explosives. Um you know, I could keep some blue screen rounds, but I'm not going to. I'm going to give her some better rounds. Something that makes people start on fire. Let's do that. I, maybe we'll run into some mechs. Maybe we won't. I don't know. But we don't need blue screen rounds. I think we're going to run into more uh, biologic ones than not. So, All right, so this is our group of six. Now, I'm going to put an asterisk by this, and it's you definitely want to pick your starters there, but um, you're going to see there's a little twist as you start in this. So again, that's the target. Uh, you got to blow that thing up. Uh, obviously, you can shoot it till it blows up. You can run over there and launch grenades at it. Whatever works. All right. So there's the disruptor, and ooh, we got an archon. We can see that over there. That's they're fun, especially with their damn blazing pinions. That can be a real pain. All right, so again, we have to destroy that disruptor. Secondly, enemies cannot reach the Avenger ramp. So this um, dashed rectangle here that we see, um, you cannot have an enemy begin its turn in this area or you lose the Avenger and you die. Um, so we've got some good forest land, got a little high ground that we could maybe use if need be. Uh, got a little pit down here that could, alternate terrain, that could end up being a bit problematic. This is nice. So there's two different ways that a wall can be here um, in this. Um, there's this version, and then there's one where these two middle sections make one big wall, and then these both these sides are open. Um, I like it more like this. It allows for a little more flexibility uh, on your troops, uh, and I will show you why. Uh, first, um, I always move my snipers into position. All right. So much, and then... Big shot. All right. So this is where your sniper is going to sit pretty much the whole time. At least that's the way I do it. Uh, reason is uh, pretty much anything in the line of sight going straight down here. Um, Isco can hit also anything off in this direction. Um, and of course, Big Shot can do the same thing um, over here, something popping out of there. So they have the protection. Uh, they can also sweep the field. This is also a much easier mission when it happens later on. If you get, uh, if you build a defense matrix, um, you can actually have uh, turrets um, like here and here, and then uh, two more turrets up up here, so you can really defend the crap out of this place. Uh, it's almost easy mode at that point, but we don't have that, so. Eh. All right. So Snake, uh, we're gonna we're gonna run him off to the left. Because if there's someone who's going to be uh, getting close to that, I would trust Snake because he's pretty awesome. Yeah. So now we're going to get... Uh, let's get... Uh, Shogun over here. Alright, so we got those locked in. Let's run our Grenadier right over here. It's a little tight, but they'll be spreading out soon enough. Uh, Yarny can head over here. A little less firepower, a little more versatility, but now we can see if anything uh, is going to come into our view. Now the nice thing is, too, they are coming to get the ship. So at some point, if you sit here long enough, they will show up. But what fun is that? All right, so Iskald is going to long launch it. Big shot, going to long launch it. And now you'll notice Pablo Jimenez, uh, a, pretty much a rook. Um, you get a couple reinforcements. Um, every number of turns, you'll get uh, another soldier to come out, which is cool. We like that. We like more people to shoot things. So now we need to kind of branch out a little bit, see what we can see. Looks like we got a mech. And commander. And just like that, look at that. That's why you always overwatch your snipers. 
because they can kill him on one go. And that's pretty awesome. Uh, but we are going to have to kill this thing because it will drop some missiles on us. Um, and if it takes away our sniper's cover, we're going to have to relocate. And it's suboptimal. I suppose I probably could. I could try to... Well, I guess I'm not going to haywire protocol this, but it only has one hit point left, so what's the point? two hit points, but still. Maybe if another one shows up, we'll try to take it over. All right. So that fell us down. Pablo, you may die this mission, but hopefully not. And again, it's important, certainly on these, not to go too far, especially after everyone is shot. You, you don't want to burn up all your all your overwatch shots. Alright, well, we took out a little cover and gave it a flesh wound. Alright. Archon and Viper. Well, look at that. He's getting a fresh blooding. Very nice. Battle frenzy all you want there, Cupcake. You're about to die. Yeah, you know what? He might not die when Yarny shoots him. But I bet you Big Shot will do it if she hits him. Again, probably shouldn't have used the if. Way to jinx it, moron. Kill it. There we go. Yeah, Archons would suck if they drop out of blazing pinions. That can make for a real bad day. Well, hopefully we destroyed a little cover for it. Yeah, not as much cover as I'd like. Get Snake a eeny bit closer. He not great. Probably could have did a, a run and gun, but well, kill him. We're killing everything else around him, just not the actual snake. Sorry if you hear me smacking my lips. I'm drinking myself a Doc X Zero Sugar. Tasty. Well. Let's hope he crits. Okay, well, he hit something, so, I mean, there's, there's a positive. Um, so, realistically, we got two more chances. Tell you what, we're going to let Pablo take a crack at it. Maybe he gets a kill. There we go. Good job, Pablo. Way to kill your first alien. Now we can overwatch with one person. No longer a squatty. Alrighty. Now well, we got another another reinforcement. Who do we got here? Sam Hudson, who apparently's got a pretty bitchin' haircut. Yeah, you know, I yeah, told my classes, great beards make great history, bitchin' haircuts make great soldiers. Again, I don't want to go too far out because you can leave your, your soldier out to dry, and then they die. And then other words that rhyme with that. All right, so we've got a mech, a lancer, and... Psyop. Uh, 
Man, I am laying waste to the background right now. Hmm. No. Yeah. I want to get the priest. There's a reason for that. All right, so let's see what Yarny's chance to maybe take this bad boy over. Do you know me? I like to take over a robot and make it my own. Ooh, 52%. You know, if it was, if it was beta, I'd feel better, but no, we're going to shut him down. Should shut it down for two rounds. That would have, that roll would have been enough to take it over. I know I'm a I'm a pansy. Go ahead and call me one in the comments. There now he's CP time. Now I'm not gonna get any further than Snake for an obvious reason. You will see it coming up on the next turn. Let's see if I can hit this guy. Nope. Eh, well, it was worth a shot. There's no reason to overwatch it. Ooh, what do we got here? Oh, another Archon, Stun Lancer. Now, oh, for Christ's sake, open your eyes and you shoot. And, oh, shield bear. That's a solid effort on an Overwatch. Yeah, so far Archons would be the most annoying. All right, come next to me. Da oh, you jerk. That's actually kind of hilarious. I thought he was going to run and hit Snake. If he would have tried that, he would have died. Okay, now we need to unload on a bunch of stuff. We've got some reinforcements coming in. But we're going to do snipers for... Well, no, we're going we're gonna to kill this guy first. Or we're just going to fill the air. Oh, Jesus, how do you miss with a minigun from this distance? Like, what the hell is that? Of course, this is the drawback with snipers. Only three rounds per mag. Once you get an expanded magazine and then you get a, uh, you get some free reloads, an auto loader, um, then they become just insanely awesome. Yeah, we're not going to do that. We're going to drop the Archon first. Archon is much worse. Now we're going to reload, I guess, before we do that. Oh, when in doubt, reload if it's not going to cost you anything. Drop him, Snake. Way to drop him, Snake. Ooh, loot. Huzzah to the shopkeep. Okay, now, the tricky part. Uh, we got to... Again, reload, and then we got to kill this guy who's sitting out right in front of everybody. Crit him. Ugh. That's just miserable. Oh, Sam Hudson's a sniper? No way. Well, that's cool. We're going to do that. Oof. Ugh. I don't like this. God, this is stupid. Well, I mean... Okay, yeah, I'm going to overwatch this guy. Yeah, this was a less than stellar round. You know what? We're just going to finish this Lancer. Although, even if I think he ran to the... 
He ran to the thing, I believe. Uh, our snipers with their pistol watch would have got him. So I think the mech might be done. There might that mech might be back up after this turn. No, oh, this is a very easy group of two. Sometimes you can get three or even four reinforcing, which is which can be a real pain. Oh, wish you could drop him. If only it was the stun lancer you would have dropped him. He's gonna throw up a shield. Take away that shield, hopefully with some pistol shots. He's burning, that's cool. I like it when I set people on fire. Blade storm. Ugh. Oh my god, thank you. I don't know what the hell. So the AI was usually not this stupid. Oh no, here comes missiles. Or it's shooting. Alright. Thank you for missing the rook. Uh, I would not have played it that way. Um, no chance. All right. Well, look at this. We got ourselves another specialist. Jinky Shag. Yeah, we'll let you. You and your backwards baseball hat, bruh. I'm going to change his, I'm going to make his nickname bruh. And now we got to take this guy down. For some reason, he forgot he had missiles that can irritate the hell out of us. And we are going to run and gun. I understand we're putting us out at risk over here, but... Ooh, advanced autoloader. That does not suck. That's two free... Two free uh, reloads. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and shoot this advanced officer, and we're gonna kill it. So Eva should be able to finish off the mech. Okay, or not. Well, still be able to finish off the mech. We'll just blow it up. Apparently that tree is a little too big. I think the robot's a little bigger than the tree lady. There. That's dead. I notice there's not a lot to hide behind over here. So we're going to long launch. Because I can't see squat. I'm going to shield from the shield bearer here, and I'm going to unload on this guy. Between him and Yarny, we should be able to finish it off. Oh, that's right. Mr. Hudson's up here. Well, let's do that instead. have a grenade, but maybe I can get a better shot at him. Well, Jesus. Alright, we're gonna run and gun and get here. Oh, damn it. That was not cool. That was incredibly disappointing. Ah, uh, Snake's gonna get shot at repeatedly. Good, that house needed a, a, a big hole in the side. Very nice. Ugh. Disgusting. Well, I think Snake has the... Were, I think if he actually kills something, the previous one, or the first shot, it might be a miss. So we're going to try to off this guy. Again, Talon rounds are amazing against biologics. And 
oddly enough, we are... Yeah, we're not combat protocoling for two. They're for four damage, not on this. We're going to overwatch. Yep. Yay, first miss. Now maybe one of these are going to try to corral him. Because that would be hilarious. Are you going to shoot at him? Yeah, you're going to shoot at him. Yeah, you got hit. You suck. Now oh, Snake's mad. Ooh, this is going to get fun. So here's what we're going to do with this. We're going to sneak him ahead, and we're going to have him shoot at the shield bearer, I think. Yeah. Ooh, good God. Let's, let's have him blow up the shield bearer, shred a little armor, um, get rid of his cover, make him easier for probably... I think Sam Hudson ought to be able to take him out. You'll notice, too, because Snake can see it, he can shoot it. And that's neat. All right, fifty-seven percent. Take this guy out. I said take him out. So disappointing. <sighs> Five to seven. About. Eva Jansen. Okay, so we can we should be able to take him out. And we'll just get a little closer and do it from point blank, increase our crit chance. There we go. And we'll long watch that. Yeah, we're going to have to overwatch that. There, let's get you a little cover, actually. See if we can drop you. And we didn't. Ugh. Good God. Yeah, he's done. Love a Jiminy. All right, it's going to drop him. Excellent. So now we get to the fun part. So we're going to run him over here. Now he's technically not covered, but we overwatch him. And then we'll sneak him over so he's got a little better shot at anything else that comes down from here. Now check this out. Ooh, come on, Stun Lancer. Come on, Stun Lancer. Please be close enough. Please be close enough. Yes, he is. They're both close enough. Awesome sauce. Check it out. Blade Master. <laughs> Yarny finishes it up, and now the Stun Lancer tries to move, and Blade Storm. Ooh, dodge it. Look at that. So, if you set your guy right where the reinforcements are going to go, you get a blade attack against every single one. Uh, so, I did it once uh, on a previous game. I had two Rangers with Blade Master, and I just sat them right next to the dot and four mobs dropped out and they killed all four of them before they could even escape the range it was so amazing so we're going to do the same thing we're going to do this and we're going to overwatch them too uh, but snake you've got business to attend to you've got a large fella that you need to destroy but well it, yeah so we're gonna snake's got a personal vendetta against this clown die now here's the fun part now could I have shot at it with a sniper sure but I don't need to be 
because the game hack. The long launch is one of the greatest things you can give your sniper. Yeah, we'll move her. We'll move her up here, then she can be really close to maybe shooting at something that hops out of a reinforcement vehicle. Yeah, let's do that as well. But then. But he's got to reload, so if we wait a turn, it's not a big deal. I believe Iskold uh, might have to reload, too. Let's see. Oh, another Rook. Hi, Rook. Come on out here and join the fun. All right, she's got one more shot. Let's check it out. Auto hit. Nothing that can be done about it. There, I took off half the... Uh, half its life bar by doing nothing. All right, so we'll move him up a little ahead. Uh, we're going to be retreating after this round anyways because, well, maybe not this round. It depends. No, I think, yeah, Sam Hudson should be able to finish it uh, with a snipe. All right, so we've got three things there. Oh, and he's right smack in the middle. <laughs> oh, stun lancers. Like, a, just some blonde dude with a ponytail and a goatee right there. Look, go get him. That's so great. Oh, and he missed with the blade. Oh, man, they're missing everything. Everybody's missing. Ah, except for, except for the guy. Huh? Look at that. That's so cool. The game doesn't even know what to do because you just completely outwitted the AI. Yeah. And Nicoletta just got a got a promo for being in all of one round. I'm going to have you run over here. Maybe someone will run past you. We can always hope. Come on. Yeah, we don't need to worry about him really being uh, out in the open. Yeah, let's chuck a grenade down here and blow him up. He's not going to die, but he's going to have a bit of a headache. Hmm. Oh, that was interesting how he just disappeared. Hmm. Weird. Reload, and then overwatch. And maybe she'll use her pistol this turn. We don't know yet. Yep, see there. A little bit of a headache. And now, shoot from above. Which even a rook ain't missing that one. Yeah, when you got the, the yellow um, unshielded, like, there's no way you're going to miss. All right, Sam, finish it. All right, so that's done. Now... You need to get everybody back into the landing platform, and then you can take off. Yeah, and it's nice. It tells you how many soldiers are still out there. So now the hardest part uh, a lot of times can be to do a kind of an orderly retreat in a way that doesn't leave you exposed. So you got to kind of, in the same way that you ran forward, you got to kind of, need to run backward. So in this case, we keep overwatching. Um, sometimes on a turn, you'll stagger it. So you'll keep some people in place. Um, you use like a couple waves, and I'll show you how I like to do it. Again, it's a little more methodical. Um, it's less risky. I don't know if any of them are going to run right past uh, 
another run through another blade storm, but oh, that one lancer might be. You get a kill and then you miss. Good job. Way to suck. All right. So, new. Said so we're going to slash this guy. Oh, well, that's stupid. Let's get him at least behind a little bit of shelter. Again, pretty much anything Snake hits, he's going to kill when it's a bio. Um, again, Talon rounds are kind of overpowered. Yeah, now we should reload you. So I don't think Yarny quite has a special little skill where he just empties his clip on everything. Or his magazine, rather. Sorry. I'd feel a little nervous if I had a minigun firing at the guy right next to me. Generally, he's not known as a precision weapon. Uh, let's see here. Sixty-two. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna combat protocol this guy because he's a guaranteed die. Bruh. Yeah, we'll put you right back here just so we can a little more view the field of fire, and we'll just long launch you. You are going to reload here. All right, now that we got those guys killed, um, we can we can do our kind of our orderly retreat from the other side. Ooh, four different things. Very nice. Again, stun lancers. I'm not so concerned with uh, at this point. Their hit points really aren't all that impressive, even if they do have one armor <laughs> of course I am con concerned by them if they never get hit alright so now we can do an orderly retreat from over on this side yeah we uh First off, bruh. Let's have all of you run back. Again, a very slow, methodical one, so by overwatching this, I uh, should be able. I'm going to run a gun here just so I can get the hell back here. And we're going to overwatch. I don't like the sub 50%. Jesus. So annoying. Now I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run Ava over here because let's see. Yeah, we'll see if we can. We're gonna lob a little acid down here, and be able to kill one. Maybe that second one. The second one should uh, damage over time. Acid end up dying. Yeah. So that other Lancer's gonna die. 
That is a foregone conclusion. Please hit something. Oh, Christ almighty. Boy, she's been, she's been on fire missing stuff today. All right, so he's got to retreat at some point. So at least we'll scooch him back a little bit. Yeah, you're going to die, so we don't care. There. The officer's out, so we have to... The stun lancer up top, and that is it. Let's see if Sammy can cap this fella, take him out, and then we'll be in business. All right. So we reload, and then we await overwatch on the reinforcements. Now... Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do some kill zone. This is so much fun. Again, she's only got three shots, but I love kill zone. I love everything it does for me. Now four mobs. At least three of them are getting shot. Well, shot at, I guess. I shouldn't run my mouth until they actually hit. And see, acid burn, he's dead. All right, Commander dead. All right, two down. And come on, can we go for the hat trick? Oh, go with your bad self. See, a great sniper. With kill zone, it's almost too easy. Once you get a really high level sniper and some good ammo and the best weapons and stuff, oh my god. It's not war, it's murder. Right, so if we retreat back, uh, we make it harder for the stun lancer to actually inflict damage. Fall back. Yeah, this is a nice orderly fallback so that everybody can shoot. Because if you, so, if you look at the thing, I mean, yeah, we could 50 50 it, but that thing's got to come to us. And it's not throwing a grenade. So we just sit back and wait. All right, well, we can, we can run with. Their grenadier, I think. I think she's got fair coverage here. In fact, we're going to reload here, so that'll be enough reload for the last batch of this mission. All right. Yeah. Again, I mean, it's like one of those are probably going to hit, but yeah, we don't need we don't need Sam here. Run him back to. Uh, yeah. He'll be safe there. We'll reposition him next round. Oh, Yarny. Where are you going to go, Yarny? He's out of action. So, where should Yarny go? I guess Yarny can go here. It's not much of a move, but. Well, I'll take the 64 chance. Because Snake is boss. All right, now we get some guys dropping roughly in the same spot. We got a bunch of Overwatch trained on them. This should be pretty easy. Maybe a couple guys to mop up. You can see, though, if you don't take care of your business, this can really get out of control. Oh, she's burning, she's burning, she's burning for you.
See, I don't like that. And you basically got one hit point left. That's stupid. He's missing. Oh, shot at the different one. I thought he was shooting at the one on the right. You go ahead and drop reinforcements back there. You've basically just made it that much easier for the rest of us. What the hell? Let's see if we can take them out. There. So now we can bring a bunch of people back. Um, set up for a solid defense and then probably the next turn we should be able to just hop back on and launch let's sam in your pistol in fact we're going to move him um, again by the time these things come running out we're going to be uh, in great position to just shoot without any cover it doesn't matter All these people looking to kill you. Man, that's beautiful. You know what? Snake and... Yeah, we'll have two rangers right there. Yarny, you can just truck it right back here. All right, so next turn... Um, what we should be able to do is take out anything that comes out in the open, and then Yarny um, will be able to have us lift off. So we get some kills, and we head out of here. And the only damage was done was Snake getting an owie. One of them's going to miss. Look at all that ammo flying through the air. That's so cool. Well, he'll die. We might take him out anyways. All right. So, yeah, we'll reload, we'll get a kill. Let's kind of pad the stats, so to speak. Well, you hop down there, you got nowhere to go, and a shotgun is faced you, facing you, right, from about point, almost point blank. I mean, look what Talon rounds do. Good God. It's just not fair. I mean, for me, it is fair, but for them, it's just not. Well, let's see if you hit him. You didn't hit him. That's all right. I thought it was Yarny who was coming back. It was... Who is this? Yeah, Pablo. Pablo can hit him. Lightning hands? No, that's all right. Oof. That's not a good percentage. Oh, we're doing a lot of damage to that fire up there. Good. Now shoot him with your sniper rifle. Look at all the dead things. All right. So now that they're done, bring you right back onto the pad. Now notice you've got zero soldiers left, and we can lift off. 
See how fun that was? Now, sometimes they get really hairy, and if you get different mobs, um, you have to kill 39 different things. Didn't seem like that, did it? Um, yeah, sometimes depending on the mobs and depending on where they're situated, it can get real messy real fast. Um, I did lose one once. Now, I missed on a bunch of shots, and it was an Archon that flew over and landed my thing, and I ended up not killing it. I was sad. But we did not in that case. We were in no danger at all. Uh, but you saw the, the fun and merriment that was an Avenger defense. All right. So again, uh, yeah, well, he's still lightly wounded. Forgot about that. Yeah, only six days. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, we got a bunch. We got some promotions here. We got a couple new people with promotions. So that's good. We we're making a little deeper team, um, which is still fairly early on in the game. So that's a positive. Let's see. Yeah. And again, I hate some of these abilities for grenadiers. It's stupid. I mean, you know, I'm just going to pick demolition. I never use these damn things, anyways. But uh, Iskull, however, look at that. So you got steady hands um, and then aim. So if you hunker down, you get 20 aim on the first shot following. And that's great. Uh, but steady hands is amazing. So if you did not move last turn, you get 10 aim and 10 crit chance. And you've seen how I like to use snipers. In general, how sh snipers should be used. I don't know why you wouldn't take steady hands. Um, I mean, hunker down helps your defense. And then you get a plus 20. I'm like, that's great. But if your sniper has to hunker down, it means you're doing a pretty piss poor job of keeping them out of firefight. Um, your rangers and your grenadiers and stuff should be absorbing most of the attacks if they're going to be shooting at people. So we steady hands this um, all day long. All right, and then Yarny. Yeah, this is also kind of a useless one. Um, so I don't use, like, med kits pretty much ever. Um, I mean, they're all well and good, or you could just not get shot and die. If they get shot and die, then that's your fault. Um, and the scanning portal, like, so you can scan the area and it tells you if something's there, but, I mean, that's, I've used it maybe a couple times at most. Um, yeah, not crazy about them, but it works. Um, but, yeah, there we go. We got some bonds going on, all sorts of other stuff. So, uh, thank you very much for joining me for this fantastic Avenger defense. Um, Snake will probably be feeling better the next time, and Shogun definitely will be. So, uh, thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time.